Welcome to SQL and PLPG SQL. So today I will tell about PLSQL block structure. So in this video, we will learn about the PLSQL block structure and the basic concept of PLSQL block. So in this block, you can see here declare, begin, exception, and end. These are four important parts of PLSQL block. Suppose you are writing any procedure. You are uh, suppose you are writing any function and uh, suppose you are writing any do block and or any particular block for performing any operation so while performing that operations you have to follow some um, basic steps and that is uh, here you can see first declare so declare it's a one optional part in declare you can declare variables, cursors, user defined exceptions. So, this is the main purpose of the declare. Then we will go to the begin. Begin, it's a mandatory part of any block. So, in begin, after begin, you can write SQL statements and PLSQL statements. So, SQL statements is nothing but you can write insert, delete, and update statements. And PLSQL statement is nothing but you can write the cursors and you can write the any conditional statements so uh, this is the basic of begin part then we will go forward and the next is exceptions so exception is an optional part suppose you want to write the exceptions in your uh, block then you can mention otherwise this is not a mandatory part so there are two types of exceptions in a database that is predefined and uh, user defined exceptions so this is not a mandatory part this is optional so then last is end end it's a one mandatory part of this block without end and without begin you can't complete the any uh, block of database so this is the basic information of the database so here you can understand the declare begin exception and end these are parts of the uh, PL school block and, and begin, begin and end these are mandatory and declare and exception these are optionals so this is the basic concept so here we will see the types of blocks so there are three types of blocks uh, basically there are two types of blocks and that is anonymous blocks and named blocks so anonymous blocks is nothing but whenever we write any uh, particular block uh, for performing any operation for the temporary purpose that is anonymous block uh, anonymous blocks we uh, we don't save in a uh, database and uh, name block that is nothing but we uh, name to that block that is a procedure and function these are name blocks and anonymous block there is no any particular name to that block we write that block for performing particular operations so like insert update delete uh, for temporary purposes so this is the basic concept and basic types of the blocks so here we will see the c1 example here uh, we will see in postgres sql yeah i have written one block to perform uh, uh, one operation that is insert operation so here i have written first do do it's a one uh, mandatory part of the postgres sql so do after do dollar then declare i have declared two variables after that i have written begin so here i have written one for loop for inserting data so after that end and dollar is mandatory part of this block so this is the basic concept of the postgres sql and uh, previously i have seen the do block structure of the oracle so in oracle uh, you there is no need to write a do and dollar you can start with the declare part so declare is the option begin then end is mandatory i have not written any exceptions here because uh, there is no need to write exceptions suppose you want to write exceptions in your block means in your procedure functions or uh, in a do block or a particular block so then you can write the exceptions as per your requirement so this is the basic information of the plsql blocks so please like subscribe to this video if you like this thank you